morning. Today is October 17th and welcome to Laura Loves Life. Today I wanted to talk about a company that I love to look at online and I also enjoy getting their catalogs. I enjoy the catalogs because they have not only clothing, women's clothing, but they have home uh, like sheets, bedding, bath, towels, things like that. And they also have children's clothing. And I noticed that uh, when I looked at Garnet Hill on YouTube, a lot of people use Garnet Hill for children's backpacks. They're well known for that. So this is what the catalog looks like. And this is their fall, they call it fall fibers catalog. And I get uh, a catalog pretty frequently sometimes twice a month, sometimes once a month. And of course, I, like I said, I look online quite a bit at their merchandise. One of the things that I love at Garnet Hill is their signature merino wool sweaters. And these come in a lot of different um, patterns. And every year they have new patterns that they add to their collection. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is the merino sweaters and I'm going to show you a collection that I have started I guess it must have been six years ago because I have six sweaters and this was I'm wearing the most recent purchase but I actually got this last year and in an earlier catalog actually in this catalog this sweater is still available and the different ones are embroidered oat heather Baltic Paisley, Aviary, Navy Scroll Floral, Spice Leopard, Midnight Multi Floral, and mine is the Aviary because it has birds on it and it has also what I thought were autumn colors. So when you look in the catalog, this is what the merino wool sweater looks like. This is their featured sweater at this time. And then over here on the other side, you can see the different uh, sweaters that are available and there is mine right there and usually this is when I like to purchase the merino sweaters but right now I cannot do that just retiring from teaching I'm having to kind of budget and watch my money a little bit so I'm gonna have to wait a bit before I order my new one for the year what I'd like to do is go through the uh, online shop and show you a little bit closer what sweaters are available, what they look like. Uh, talk to you a little bit more about why I choose them and what size I choose. This one happens to be a large and it suggests in the catalog that you, if you want to layer it, you might want to size up and I definitely recommend doing that. Sometimes I even go to an extra large depending what I'm going to wear it with. Now today I have it on with a it's just a little polyester tank that was recommended by one of my favorite YouTubers, Tiffany D. And she's, it's called Makeup by Tiffany D. And she does a lot of hauls from Nordstrom. She partners with Nordstrom. And so what I have on underneath this is that tank. And it's just kind of a, it pulls in some of that green color. So it's kind of an olive green. And what I like about the tank is that it's split pretty high on the sides so that you have lots of room. And I just quickly put on a little necklace that I thought kind of had an autumn feel to it, a little sparkle to add to it. But my favorite part about this sweater is the birds, hence the name Aviary. So in a little bit, we'll be looking at my different sweaters and I'm going to uh, style those, show you what I wear with them, and then we can look on the website a little bit closer and show you what Garnet Hill is all about. So let's get into all of this and find out about Merino Wool Signature Sweaters from Garnet Hill. Here is the outfit that I was wearing and a little bit closer look of what the pieces that I put together with the Garnet Hill sweater are. I chose some of my favorite Gap denim 1969 jeans. 
again the tank from Nordstrom by the brand Lush and then some shoes that I picked up at a little boutique in the city that's about 30 miles away from me these are called off the beaten track OTBT shoes and they are the gladiator style I really love these shoes and I thought they looked really cute with the aviary signature merino wool garnet heel sweater here is one more way that I styled the aviary sweater I chose a pair of brown corduroy Talbot's jeans and I usually get a size um, large or 10 long for tall I'm about 5'8 so I like the longer length and then I also have a different color of the Nordstrom Lush tanks this one is in gold so that brings out a little bit different color in the sweater and then for the shoes these are some old anthropology Jasper and Jira shoes with a little bit of orange embellishment I thought that looked really cute with the sweater picks up a little bit of the orange and then I also have a pair of Jessica Simpson kind of shiny gold shoes with a leopard print in the sole and I thought that though that kind of pulled everything together and gave it a little bit different look I paired this sweater with that same lush olive green tank a pair of volatile slip-on shoes if you've never had volatile shoes oh my goodness you must get some the side view of the shoe and then in the catalog there is a skirt that is called favorite maxi knit skirt and so I had purchased this several years ago in a neutral color and at the bottom of the skirt they have an unusual detail where it's gathered with a little piping area and I thought that the neutral went really well with the pattern in this particular sweater sweater number three this one has navy teal a little bit of gray in it and I opened the placket a little bit so you can see how they put a girl grain ribbon on the placket which I think is a nice detail underneath I chose a J Crew sleeveless gray and white striped tank and for the shoes some Anthropology Boutique 9 gladiator sandals and then for the bottom these are some old Talbot's Heritage straight leg jeans and dark denim. Since the navy in the sweater is pretty dark, I decided to stay with the darker denim for the bottom. And then I ruched up the sleeves slightly. They are a three-quarter length sleeve, so they push up nicely above the elbows if you are not crazy about three-quarter length sleeves. The sweater that I just showed you this particular one I chose an extra large I must have been feeling a little puffy when I ordered it anyway there's not a whole lot of size difference between the large and the extra large but if you are putting um, a heavy layer underneath you probably definitely would want to go with an extra large if you are a broad-shouldered girl like me and then here is a, another page in an, an older catalog that I have that shows the merino wool sweater. Number four. This one is a beautiful raspberry floral kind of tropical look. I have paired it with a cream colored sleeveless Talbot's uh, polyester blouse underneath. I added some J. Crew skinny black jeans. And then for the shoe, these are some old Talbot's um, wet cork wedge shoes with snakeskin print, which 
has black in it, so I thought that would look good with the black jeans. Number five's pattern is a slice of orange. And I paired this with a pair of Banana Republic khakis. And then underneath there is an anthropology, um, one of these tanks that kind of looks like it's been uh, eaten with something. I mean, it's got little holes all over it, but it is a swing tank. And I thought that felt really comfortable and a little bit more summery with this orange slice sweater. Now for the shoes, I could not decide what to put with them. So I thought, well, let's just get out all three. So these are some Born Bronze sandals, kind of a gladiator style because they have a zipper in the back. These are Gianni Benny uh, gladiator sandals, and they have an, a camo print strap on them, which I thought kind of picked up in the green of the sweater. And then these are some super old Antonio Milani slides. And then number six, this is a raspberry teal combo. Again, I'm using one of those lush uh, tanks from Nordstrom in teal, recommended by Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany D. And for the bottoms, I couldn't decide which one to do, so I chose my famous 1969 Gap jeans in a lighter denim. Or how about some Chico's So Slimming pants in kind of a, a cream color. They sort of pick up on that cream in the sweater, and I thought they looked nice with that as well. Plus the zipper detail on the pant pocket is really cute. Of course you wouldn't see it because of the tank unless you tucked it in in some way. But those are so comfortable. And then for the shoes, these came from Francesca's and they are a gladiator style by Dolce. And they have a little bit of, oh, kind of an embellishment in silver on them. Again, in that nude color, which sort of pulls in with the nude background of the sweater, as well as the Chico's. But I think it looks equally as good with the denim jeans. So, Garnet Hill. Love, love, love. They not only have sweaters, but they have bedding, uh, towels, pillows, pajamas, kids' clothing, kids' backpacks, socks. I mean, just about anything that you would want. Uh, I've never been disappointed in anything that I've ordered from Garnet Hill. I love everything from the sweaters to the skirts. And this is what's on their site right now. The sweaters are $98. Have I paid $98? No. I wait for a sale. Now, sometimes if you wait for the sale, some of the designs are already gone. But I noticed on the site, there is one right now for $38. And let's see. There it is. Very nice design. And then the other ones that are available, again, there's the aviary that I have. And then this one is called Baltic Paisley. This one is called Beaded Gray Heather. Embroidered Oat Heather. Midnight Multi Floral. Ooh, Navy Scroll Floral and Spice Leopard. So, you know, every one of the designs are unique and special, and I just would highly recommend this signature merino cardigan from Garnet Hill. I hope you had fun going through my closet with me and styling again, and maybe learning about a new brand, Garnet Hill. And thank you for being with me today, and I'm gonna leave you with a verse of scripture 
This is from Galatians 3, verse 22. But the scriptures declare that we are all prisoners of sin, so we receive God's promise of freedom only by believing in Jesus Christ. And this is the New Living Translation. And then I'm going to read you just a little bit more from Galatians 3. This is verse uh, 26 through 29. For you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. And all who have been united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ like putting on new clothes. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are true children of Abraham. You are his heirs, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Good day, and God bless.